Okay, this is a video response to Jonathan Paula's rant on the iPad on his new vlog, John's World. Now, anyone who knows me knows I'm a big fan of Apple products. And I still am, always will be. This machine I'm recording this on is an iMac. Okay. However, I have to say I agree with Mr. Paula 100% on this one. I've been following the iPad. Now, it's a cool concept. I'll give it that. I mean, basically, this thing is a pad, a personal access display device, right out of Star Trek, those, those computer access things they used on the ships to be able to, you know, that they carry around. You see Jake Sisko carrying these things around in Deep Space Nine a lot when he was writing, you know, and stuff like that. Um, so in that sense, it's a cool concept. But if you ask me, the many of the points that, that Mr. Paula makes uh, is, is, is that basically the, the technology hasn't quite caught up to where to make this thing practical yet. Touchscreen technology is great, but because it's so new, it's also bloody expensive. $800 for a device with only 64 gigs of storage? Come on, give me a break. And that's one of the things that caused problems for the original uh, the original Macintosh computer way back in 1984. Great concept, wonderful computer, and of course it would revolutionize the computer industry, ultimately. But the original Macintosh computer had so little RAM memory that it was constantly accessing that little floppy drive trying to, to, to run, and the thing was nightmarishly sluggish as a result. Well, the same problem is happening here. The iPad is underpowered. Cool concept. But it, but you have to wait until the technology becomes cheap enough where you can put that kind of like a little more storage and a lot more power into the same device for four hundred dollars or less. So and and this Apple does this every now and then. Like Apple's like I love Apple products. Don't get me wrong, but every now and then Apple has a flop. There was the Lisa. Uh, which was the pre precursor to the to the Macintosh. It was just too expensive and didn't go anywhere. There was the Apple Newton, which had a lot of technical problems. Uh, there was the original Apple Portable Computer. Um, all of these things, like just were total flops in the marketplace. Great, they were um, you know ahead of their time. They were great ideas, but they were either too expensive or underpowered or both. Um, and I th and I it's been a long time since Apple has had a flop like that. Uh, and I think they're headed for one with the iPad. Not. Like I say, cool concept. Just have to wait for the technology to become cheap enough to make the thing practical at a practical price point. So, no, I uh, fan of Apple products? Yes. Fan of Apple iPad? No. I'm never going to get one of these things, at least not for another three or four years until they get it to a point where it's useful. So, yeah, I agreed to Johnny 100% on this one.